Hi, my name is David Wild. I'm a professor here in the School of Informatics and Computing at Indiana University, and I'm going to be teaching the course Data Science in Drug Discovery, Health and Translational Medicine. If you haven't already noticed, there's a revolution going on in healthcare. Some people are calling it Healthcare 2.0. We see a revolution with many different facets. Um, in the US here, we're having a huge debate about how to pay for healthcare with an aging population, increasing costs. There's lots of talk about efficiency and how to treat people better but cheaper. At the other end of the spectrum, there's a revolution going on in how we do things like develop new drugs and find new treatments and understand what happens when we put lots of different drugs into somebody's body. How does their genetic makeup change things? What happens if they have more than one disease? There are lots of questions being asked about healthcare right now. And in this course, we're going to be asking three specific questions that have got to do with data science because you'll find that data is right at the heart of this revolution going on in healthcare. The first question we're going to ask is how can data science help scientists discover new drugs and reuse old drugs for new conditions? We'll look at ways of using predictive modeling and statistics for predicting what happens when you take a drug and put it in your mouth and swallow it and it goes into the body. Um, not just very reductionist predictions, but predicting the effect of the drug right through the body. The positive effects, helping people get better, and the negative effects, side effects and toxicity and so on. We're then going to look at a second question. How can data science help doctors treat patients better? This part of this data revolution going on is called electronic medical records and um, increasingly all the data about you and your diseases and the treatments the doctors are giving you um, are stored in big databases. Um, medical systems have massive databases about millions of people. With all that data you can start to do some amazing things. You can start to find insights about how um, certain combinations of drugs either improve or make worse particular date disease states. You start to understand the kinds of patients that um, respond well to certain treatments and not so well to other treatments. We have a huge amount of data available to us, so we'll be looking at how the data in electronic medical records can help doctors and patients together understand diseases and help make people better. The third question we'll be looking at is how can data science help us all lead healthier lives? There are major breakthroughs being made in the way that we can understand how small changes to things like nutrition, uh, when we take drugs and how we take drugs and uh, what diseases we have and how we go about responding to those diseases we have, um, can make big difference in positive or negative outcomes. So we'll be looking at things like apps that um, are being researched. Um, that can bring together different kinds of data to help you just make better decisions about things you do in your lives, as well as uh, large-scale insights to how different uh, population groups respond in different ways. So we'll be looking at those three questions. How can data science help researchers develop new drugs and reuse old ones? How can data science help doctors treat patients better? And how can data science help us all lead healthier lives? We'll be using a variety of tools to do this. One of the main ones will be the R statistics modeling package. And so there'll be common thread through these different areas. And by the end of this course, you'll have an experience in using modeling and data science and predictive modeling techniques for this really, really important area for our 21st century of improving healthcare for everybody.